Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm showing you how to display a different navigation menu per device for desktop, tablet, and phone in Divi. So I'm going to show you about three different methods how you can achieve this. You can follow along on the written blog post that's in the link in the description if you're on YouTube. Now in WordPress the option for the navigation menu may change and that's going to depend a lot on your theme. Now in Divi, if we go to the back end like our dashboard and then go over to appearance and menu, so that's the navigation menus, the links or tabs where you can go to different pages on your site, you'll see these options like you can select a menu here and edit it. So whichever one is selected will be able to be edited here. See, I can rearrange these menu items. You're probably familiar with all of that. But as you know, there's not really an option to have like a different menu on mobile as opposed to desktop. Even if you click on this manage locations right here, it's going to have a couple options like primary menu, secondary menu, and footer menu, but those are only relevant to Divi when you're using the old, you know, default whatever before the theme builder with the theme builder you can use the menu module and so this is irrelevant so there's really just primary menu and so it leaves you with what do you do if you want two different things so whether you maybe you want to have your menu items rearranged on someone's on their phone sometimes you want it to be really simple when they're on their phone like if you have a mega menu on desktop, well, you don't want a hundred different items on on phone. It's just harder to navigate. So maybe you want to simplify it and then you show like the five parent page links instead or something like that and not have the sub menus. So there's a couple of methods you can achieve this. So let's talk about them. First one I have here is saying to duplicate the menu module and use the vis visibility options. And if you were going to do this, um, I'll just show you quickly. You could come in here and set up a menu module. See how it says menu. Go to advanced tab and visibility toggle right here. So let's say I want this menu with these options to be on desktop. Well, then I would disable on phone tablet. Okay. Oh, and by the way, the one that's selected is main menu, right? Under content content main menu okay so let's say now i have another menu now i would go in here and change this menu the actual menu to something else like um i think i even had one well there was mobile menu let's use that one okay these are all menus that i have in my demo site here but um yeah let's excuse that but the point is this here will be a completely different selected WordPress menu from this list back here in WordPress like all of these options that I have again you're not gonna have all of these but all of these options are available to select in the menu here and now for this visibility I would do the opposite I want to disable this one on desktop that means when I go to a smaller device it's going to show this one instead of that one so one's gonna hide and one's going to show on desktop and on mobile. <laughs> That's method one in my tutorial. And I do have a little disclaimer here saying, is this method okay? Now, for just the menu, I'm okay with recommending this method. Um, it's um, a little bit of a caveat because I, for one, do not want to ever go on record for recommending duplicating content like that. Um, I have a, like I, ha I said, I have a description here of what I'm talking about. It's just, I've seen pages where the entire page is made up of like sections, one section for desktop and one for mobile. And that is just not a good idea. Um, you're going to get all that duplicate content and that's going to be affecting your SEO. My belief is that you would, I cannot think of a good reason when you would ever need to do that for your content. What we're talking about in this tutorial is the menu itself. That's the only time I would ever do this with duplicating and then using these visibility options. So I just want to put that out there. Um, 
I'm, I'm not simply trying to protect my reputation, but I'm simply trying to help you also. It's just not good practice to be doing that. But for this, it's just the menu, and that will be fine. Um, don't get into the habit of doing this for content and sections and all that. All right, second method listed here is actually something that I already covered in a different tutorial, so I'm not going to repeat myself. What I will do is open this up and show you. So what I say here is if you do not need to arrange the menu items, you're not worried about having things in a different order and all that, but you simply want to show or hide a few of the links within one menu, then you can use this method. Again, this is only showing and hiding links within one menu. Like, let's say I have this main menu slash primary menu selected, right? And I have all of these items in my main menu. But, you know, I only want to show like the main links here instead of these like sub items. What I could do, uh, let's see, did I open up that one? Yeah, here it is. First of all, go over to this tutorial and follow it. And it has all these notes about how you can do this, turn on screen options. You'll have these little options under here to add a CSS class. We also have this option, look at this, hide on desktop, hide on tablet, hide on phone. Those are added by our plugin, the Divi Responsive Helper. Or you can use the class method and then CSS, display none, and all that. It's up to you, but you would do that for literally every item. So like you may want to hide this, these three, but sh keep showing this parent one. Again, that's only showing and hiding items within this same menu. So in here, you're still selecting main menu and it's showing on all devices. It's just some of the items within that are not showing on all devices. Okay, I think I've covered that. All right, I'm gonna close that. You can check out that link. Um, the third method is certainly the easiest because we added it to the Divi Responsive Helper plugin, which adds it directly into Divi. So, pretty simple. Without our plugin, if I go here and I want to enable, actually, I have it installed. If I did not have our plugin installed, this icon right here would not be here. Do you see that? That responsive icon will not be there. It's there right now in my demo because I have Divi Responsive Helper installed. Without our plugin installed, you don't have the option. You can select one menu, that's it. With our plugin installed, ta-da, now I can be like, hmm, for desktop I want, mm hmm, oh, main menu, okay. How about on tablet? Now I switch to this tablet tab, now I can select, maybe I want this mobile one, and then it would be the same for a phone. So desktop, main menu, tablet, switches to mobile menu, and then phone. Again, I could I could pick a completely different one. Usually, usually phone and tablet are the same, but you could make it different. So just like that, it's that easy. And now when I go and view my website, if I'm on a phone or something, I'm gonna see the phone menu. And if I'm on a desktop, I see the desktop menu. Obviously, I'm partial to our plugin, but if you already own it, and or if you're a member of our, our Divi Adventure Club where you get all of our plugins included, then I think it's a no-brainer. Um, yeah, kind of have a little thing there about it. But otherwise, you can check out these other methods, one and two, and see which one seems to you know, fit what you need to do. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that and found it helpful and useful. And if you did, let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you're on YouTube. Subscribe because we do a tutorial every week related to Divi, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can always get fresh content, something useful, practical. A lot of times we share like CSS snippets and jQuery and PHP and all that fun stuff. Um, this week it's more of a just a practical tip how to do this. So we hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you all in the next video.